Good morning, everybody. I know who it is. I am back again with another video. Uh, man, long suit Jerry is tired this morning, but uh, last day of work was yesterday, so uh, last night. So I'm getting ready to leave up out of here to go out there to Seattle, Washington. So uh, go out there and check on my sister, and, you know, see about her, stuff like that. So it's going to take a while to get there, guys. So Oh, man. So, pretty much it's like, uh, about what, 30 hours or whatever. So, I'd be able to get there, you know, safely, without trying to be in a rush to get there, you know what I'm saying? So, take my time on the road and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so I just want to get there and check on her, stuff like that, you know. And just come around to it, you know, yesterday talk to one of her sons, you know, uh, over the phone about, about how she's doing and stuff like that, so, uh, they were just moving her to a, uh, different place yesterday, um, one thing good about it, I got a, got a chance to speak to her over the phone, you know, and she was being very stubborn, you know, but I got a chance to talk to her, you know, uh, until I was on my way there out there and she told me no she said stay where you at don't come i'm like you can't control that one so your last brother that you have i'm coming out there either you trying to stop me or not i will be there so ain't no need to trying to stop me from coming nowhere <laughs> when there's a family member that's in bad shape or whatever or need, needing help i'm there so I got to get there, no matter what. <clears throat> so I'm having my little cup of coffee right now and everything. So get some food in the belly, you know, and, and get up there and do my thing. So this is not a journey. This is a emergency trip to take right now. So um, I don't want to put it as a journey. I want to put it as an emergency trip. So get out there, see about her, you know, check up on her, you know, spend some time with her. So I'm out there for a week. So when I get there, I'm there for a whole week. Uh, if things looking good or whatever, then I come back. If it's not looking good, then I will be staying put for a little while longer. So, you know, your job will always be there, you know, when you come back. So, I just got to get out there and do what I got to do for my sister. So, my cousin did want to go with me, but he chicken out on that. You know, you know how that is. When somebody said they're going to go, they decided to say, no, I can't go or whatever. You know, they chicken out on a lot of stuff, you know. So, <clears throat> but uh, that's the way they always be in. You know, because I'm, I'm going to ride down there with you. You know, I'm going to go with you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and decide to change your mind all of a sudden, you know, it's not good. Never be afraid to travel nowhere, you know, <clears throat> and find a way to have time to go and spend some time somewhere you never been before. A lot of people always sit around in one place, never go nowhere, never go nowhere. So that means you got to get out and get out and visit and sightseeing or whatever it takes, you know. You want to go out there and look at some birds, go look at some birds, you know. You got to get out there and do it, you know. But don't sit there in one place and, and do the same stuff the same way every day. You know what I'm saying? You get to a place where you live at, you know, you only go two or three places. You go to work, you go to your friend's house. Or you go to one of your family members' house and then you back at home. It's the same thing, all the way around the same clock. <clears throat> so that's one thing I learned about it. Never sit in one place at all time. Get out and visit. You know, I just talked to one of my best friends out from Illinois, but he moved out in Texas somewhere. And he's like two states over from me. See, that's what I'm saying. Get out, do things, you know, and he got out from Illinois and moved out towards that way. And that's good, you know, because I'd be going out there to visit him. You know, the first first guy I ever met when I first started working for Housing Authority, a Joliet, <clears throat> and he was the main guy that 
that, that took me and trained me how to do everything. I mean, how to do everything. So I am all trained. So I know how to do it all when it comes to uh, doing anything into a house. You know what I'm saying? Putting up walls, whatever. Putting in wires or plumbing pipes or whatever it takes. He taught me how to do it all. So that's why I never forget how to do that type of stuff. I never forget him, you know, that, that teaching me how to do all that stuff, you know. So I will be visiting him sometime soon, too, during the summer. So we're supposed to be getting back warmed up again by next week, about in the 70s and stuff like that out here, you know, in Arizona. So it's going to warm up again. We didn't get too much rain during this winter, but... Uh, like we did last one, and man, we got a bunch of rain last one, but this one didn't get that much. It rained probably like three times here, and that was it. But the the weather out here in the morning is like fifty something degrees in the morning. Then the evening you get you might get like sixty or something like that. But other than that, man, when it start kicking back up in the hundreds, man, don't be in the rush for them hundreds. Not now. I ain't no hurt rush for that because. During this summertime, I went through it. You know, I was like, man, it's so hot out here, man. You can't even step outside for a second. So, uh, I, I ain't never in no rush for that summer heat right now. Because it doesn't mess you up. It's just like you sitting right next to the sun. Like, what's up, son? You know, you're nice and hot, you know. But you jacking me up, you know. But uh, that's what it feel like. You know, you wish you had a big old ice bucket to throw over your head or something like that. But that's the way it feels. So... When it's hot out here. You wish you had a big old bucket of ice water you can carry around with you and just splash it on your body, you know, as you're walking. But you might be getting cooked every now and then, but, you know, as long as you got something to keep you cool. But uh, everything is looking good so far. But, like I said, I'm going to get ready and get out of here and uh, get on the road. So, um, it's about whatever. It is about 8, whatever. But, uh, let's see, about 12 o'clock. I'll be getting up out of here, uh, then out there, keep you guys informed what's going on between here and there, uh, you know, uh, it's rough, you know, and Los Jerry is not scared anymore, I'm not worried no more because I gotta do a safe travel, so I gotta do what I gotta do, you know, and get out there and come on back, you know, talk to other family members over the phone and stuff like that so I ended up getting some sleep last night so for the first time I have not been getting no sleep at all have not been eating too much at all so uh, but you know got in last night I, I ate real good you know and when I lay down and went to sleep it was about 12 30 when I went to sleep last night you know talking to my cousin for a minute that's when he said he would <clears throat> he would he would like to go, but he changed his mind. So, hey man, I ain't got no problem with that, you know. <laughs> also, Jerry's gonna go regardless, you know. Um, but when she told me not to come, I'm like, no, nah, I'm coming, man. I ain't got time for that, you know. Man, me and her just like two best friends. Play together, grew up together, you know. Did a lot of things together, you know. Partners in crime, you know, that's that's my buddy. Just like my younger brother was. We all was close to each other. All my family was very close to each other. You know, we never fought or argued with each other. That's one thing we never did. Argue with each other, fight with each other. <laughs> you know, it was it was more like a mellow thing, you know. Sit back and you talk about it, you know, but there was no yelling, no screaming, no throwing no punches. You know, it was all about getting together with the family. You know, but man wonderful times you know and that's what I loved about it with my family we had beautiful times together we were grew up by good parents grandparents aunties and uncles you know and that kept everybody heads level you know kept us going the right direction instead of going the wrong direction you know but make sure we did the right directions <clears throat> That's one thing about law so Jerry. Never been in trouble with the law. I ain't got time for the law. You know, I only got time for myself and my family. That's it. The law is the law, but I ain't got time for that. Law so Jerry got to continue doing what he got to do and make things right. But 
I will be getting back with y'all sometime soon, but uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to download any videos right away because when you're on the road, you can't really get them that, that good, you know, so when I'm going to get to my destination, that's when I will, will release the video, so it's going to be some videos, you know, it's going to be about, <laughs> the way I see it might be about five or six of them, who knows, but uh, that way you guys will be looking at what I'm looking at when I'm rolling, you know? So, uh, it's just something that makes me feel good when I, when I video something like that, you know? Y'all went with me about a year ago. Went, went up there to see y'all in Washington, you know? Uh, the videos is on my YouTube channel. You know, I was there with my sister, you know? She's on the videos too, you know? And we had a good time out there. You know, we had a wonderful good time out there. She showed me a lot of things out there, and we had a ball. Lost Jerry had enough ball out there, he went broke out there. <laughs> I went so broke, and I had no money, and I had to get get one of my cousins to wire me the money back to me, man, because we had so much time. You know, I wasn't paying attention with the money in my pocket, you know, and just kept on spending, 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 you know, having that good old time. But... Thank God for him, man. He saved Lost to Jerry's life that day, man. But it was all good. It ain't like if I can go to any other family and, and have them to send it to me because they won't send it to me. So, but the one cousin that's out here in Phoenix, he saved my butt. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate him on that. He He's the work. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate him. Love him. But, uh, yeah, we had some good times. But uh, I don't know about having... In more good times out there right now because it's cold as heck out there. So, uh, maybe I get a chance to get around a little bit or something, you know, without sitting up in the house all day. I want to get out a little bit, move around a little bit while I'm out there. So, I'll be able to do that. But, uh, I appreciate that everybody that's watching my videos. I love you all out there, man. And, uh, your prayers going up for my sister, man. That's one thing I love about y'all, you know. Uh, Y'all send them. Y'all say good, great things on there. You know, and I saw all them good comments come through there, man, and speeches and whatever. I broke down and started crying, you know, but, you know, uh, that what makes a, a man feels good about his, his, his subscribers that's out there. You know, y'all some good peoples. You know, not bad peoples, not in my book, but y'all all good people. So, I love every last one of y'all. I really do. So, I think I can find a way to um, shout out some of you guys' names or ladies' names on my channel. You know, I can get back to that. And uh, show y'all some love back from Los Jerry, you know. And I will be doing that. So, when I get to my destination, I will go ahead and do that. I will do some shout outs for you guys on the video. Because y'all showing me so much love out here, man. I tell y'all that much, you know. But um, it's time for me to get up out of here. I got to get going, get a lot of stuff more packed, you know, and get everything loaded and getting ready to get up out of here and um, get going. My eyes is killing me. This one here is killing me. I got some eye drop. I need to go ahead and uh, pop that stuff in my eye. <clears throat> get that stuff done. So... Thank you guys, yeah. So, yeah, got me some eye drop, you know. Good stuff here, you know. It's cold right now. Got to warm it up a little bit. I don't want no cold junk in my eyes, so I'm going to have to warm it up. It's been a car all night, so take it in, warm it up, and um, get it back going, you know what I'm saying? So, lost with Jerry, put some eye drops in this eye, because this one right here is a little painful a little bit, so I'm going to do them both, you know. Get my eyes feeling good again, you know. Need some glasses, but I get to that when I get back. And when I get back, I will be going back to the dealership. I will be picking up me a Cadillac. So, uh, going to get me a Cadillac and stuff like that. So, um, get that going. And then um, I will be shipping this car off to one of the girls <coughs> out there. The one I'm going to send it to is out there in Philadelphia. So, I'm going to send it to her. So, she'll have a car out there to ride around in. And, um... <coughs> And then I'm going to do it from there. But uh, ain't no need to trade it in. They're not going to give me what I want for the car with 161,000 miles on it. So 
I'm just gonna go ahead and send it out there to her and just go ahead and pick up my Cadillac, you know? So, the one I picked out is beautiful, good looking, decent. I mean, it's nice. But my point was, you know what? Them rims look pretty good, but nah, they coming off. Y'all know how it is with me, man. I take every wheel off, you know? Uh, it got some bows on it, but I don't like them. They too small. Now, if they was like 22s with some bows, then yeah, I keep, I keep the bows on it. But, uh, I gotta change up. So, bows is for old school guys. You know what I'm saying? But I'm an old school guy too, you know, but I don't wanna deal with no bows, you know? As soon as they get dirty, jacked up, you still gotta clean them. You gotta get that bleach white. You gotta scrub them down, hose them off, in that yellow strip around the tire. You still gotta clean that too. So, I really don't wanna go through that. You know, so I wanna do a little something different with it. So, like I always do to my cars, I wanna put some nice rims on it. Fix it up a little bit, you know? Something that's gonna satisfy with me. And that's how we're gonna do it this time, you know what I'm saying? So, Lusso Jerry's on a journey to go ahead and get that Cadillac. So, talk to the guy, told him I'll be back in a week. So, yeah. So, he'll hold on to it for me. So, that's good. Take it off the lock, put it in the back. Lock it up, and I'll be back for it. So, it's coming real soon. So, Lost J gonna get over here, guys. I've been here a little bit too long with you guys, you know, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Alright, be safe out there. We out. Peace.